The Apache. It strikes fear into any enemy. These are battle-winning pieces of kit, but they come with a hefty price tag and are limited in number. So are there any circumstances in which a drone could step into the Apache's role? So what we're looking at here is, a, is the Hydra drone um, from Hybrid Drones, and this is a concept that we're developing as part of the Army Warfighting Experiment. So we're looking at how we can weaponize drones for the future, uh, noting, about, noting what is currently going on in Ukraine. And this is very much concept. We haven't experimented with it yet, but it's something that we're going to be working with the regulatory authorities, so the MAA and DOZAR, uh, in order to understand how we can get something like this uh, as a capability in the future. Hybrid Drones has been gradually increasing the capacity of its heavy lift drone. Hydra can now carry up to 400 kilograms. We, we started off with ammunition, water, fuel. Um, could we extract a, a wounded soldier from the front to a hospital facility? And then, and then obviously, as the payloads grew uh, bigger and bigger, we were capable of carrying um, a loitering munition. And uh, we started that conversation about uh, would it be possible to put Brimstone on Hydra. It wouldn't be the first time Brimstone has been put on a drone. In 2014, MBDA successfully conducted live firing of the missile from the MQ-9 Reaper. It's now being integrated onto the UAV and flight trials are imminent. We do have extensive uh, involvement in the integration of the weapon on a remotely piloted system. And so this is just a slightly different domain that we're talking about here. But some of the integration aspects will equally apply to larger aircraft as, it, as much as it will do to the smaller uh, unmanned air systems such as uh, Hydra. Hydra is designed so that when folded, three of them could fit inside the Army's new boxer vehicle. So it's not that big, and fitting missiles to a drone of that size has unique challenges. Where we're at at the moment is still in a concept phase. We need to understand the environment that that drone will operate in. There are clearly uh, vibration uh, issues to, to address and so on. So, so we're, we're still in the process at the moment of characterizing the environment on the Hydra platform. And from the lessons learned from that, that will dictate how we integrate Brimstone onto the platform. We're fairly confident that it shouldn't be a problem, uh, but that there are a number of uh, hurdles you have to get through in order to integrate this kind of complex weapon on that class of vehicle. So if it all comes together beyond the concept stage, could this be a replacement for the Apache? And we're not trying to replace the Apache, we're just trying to support the Apache in its mission. Um, and we're not trying to replace pilots. And we're just trying to take away some of the burden um, of relieving that uh, dangerous resupply mission. And in this case, um, a loitering munition. But um, we can sneak up on people. We're a very small target, um, relatively quiet in terms of an Apache, um, and much smaller. And we can do things that perhaps um, they would not like to do. Hydra will again be put to the test at Army Warfighting Experiment. Claire Sadler, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.